today I'm going to show you how to make a new bracelet. I'm calling it a ruffled feather bracelet. And I'm going to show you how to make it on two forks. So let's get started. Let's get focused. Right, in order to make this fork, you're going to make this fork. In order to make this bracelet, you're going to start out with your forks attached like we always start out. Band at the bottom, band here. Forks, my forks aren't even, so that, of course they don't have to be. And let's see what colors we're going to try. I guess we'll do some red. And we'll do some brown today, because that's what I got the most of. Um, I noticed that uh, Rainbow Loom has got some silicone bands in. And they've got some nice metallic ones if you want to check them out. And their shipping their shipping is um, a really good price. I ordered um, metallic bands from them like I think it was like five bags and they only charged me like a dollar fifty for shipping. So I was really impressed with that. Alright, you're gonna start out by doing twists straight across each tongue. Straight across. And twist it every time. You only twist for the first row, just like every other bracelet here. Okay? And here is the tricky part. Once you've got that row on, the next row, you're going to start with the second tine over. You're going to put it straight across. Then you're going to grab it. You're going to pull it over the next one and then around the end one. You see how I did that? So it's going over this one and then onto this one. I'll show you it from the front. Okay? And you're going to do the same thing on the other side. It's going over that one and then on to this one. So it's like an hourglass. And you're going to do the exact same thing here on this other side. So it's going to go on to this one. So if I can do this left handed, it's going to go over this one, on to this one, over the second, on to the end. All right. Wait, you get a real good look at that. Okay. And then it says from the front, it's on every time. And from the back, it's on every time. And then you're going to pull them all up and over. You're always pulling them all up and over. So that part's nice and easy. The, the tricky part is how you put them on for this one. As long as you're putting them on right, and you got it. Okay. Okay, so this row is nice and easy. You're just putting them on across. Every other row is that tricky row. And I recommend that the row, let me get it straight, the row that you put across be a brighter color. Oh, we don't want that black. And the row that you put the hourglass shape be a darker color. It just it, it works out well that way. Then you it, and you can play around with how you do it, but you'll see what I mean as you do this. It just gives a nice look for the bracelet. Okay, so all these were just straight across, and then I'm gonna pull them up and over. And these get tighter as you go. So I might grab my hook and start pulling these over. Because these are getting tighter. Oh. This end one's always easier.
And my kitty cat's trying to come up, so let me get him down. Sorry, kitten, not playtime. Okay, and then we do the hourglass again. So you're going to take it, put it on here, the second one over, pull it straight across, pull it across this next one, and put it on the end one. Across the next one, put it on the end one. on the bottom, straight across to the top, pull it across over the bottom, onto the end, across and over. Like I said, it's going to be, so you end up with two rows on both sides, and pull everything over like, you keep, like you've been doing. The red row is an easy row to pull over, it's nice and loose. It's the hourglass row when it's on the bottom that's tight. All right, so now you've seen me do this twice. If you're not sure what you're doing with it, rewind and watch it again. I have the bracelet already on forks, so I'm going to switch to that to show you how to take it off from here. Okay. Okay, here is um, a completed bracelet, so I'm going to show you how to take it off. What you're going to do, you got the last row that I did was the row that goes across the tines back and forth. You're going to take them from one side and pull them across and put them on the opposite side, each piece. So you're just flipping everything from this side across to whatever the opposite side is. Okay. And then you're going to pull the bottom ones over the top ones. And then you're going to pull everything tight. And you can take it off. Now you can put a C clip through all four of these. Okay, pull them all together so they're all one hoop. And then you can use that, to just find a good spot to hook it on the other end. And then that gives you your bracelet. Okay, if you have any questions, let me know. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. Please be sure to check back with and look at my other videos. I've got lots of videos with the fork to show you how to do different things. And I plan to come back and show you lots of other things. Thank you.